Hit that like button and subscribe right now or you will end up looking like this dude. I wouldn't recommend it. Hey, 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 where you going, man? Subscribe to the channel. Is that your king? Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, D2 Times. Wait, hold on. What it do? Two times crew, it's your boy D, and I'm back with another banger, man. Y'all know who it is. I'm back on my grind, 40k on the way. Hopefully, y'all having a wonderful day, man. Y'all know how this go. But anyways, as y'all can see by the title, I have a brand new badge glitch for NBA 2K21 current gen for y'all. So I need y'all to smash the like button right now, man. First of all, I want to give a shout out to my boy JR Way Too Cold. This is his video. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to him. All of his links is down below, man. Make sure y'all turn on the post notifications as well because he has all the banger glitches, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go run my boy up, no cap. But look, we have a brand new 33k VC subscriber uh, giveaway in the comment section right now. Make sure y'all have already entered that or go into that if you haven't already, man. You know what I'm saying? Because who don't want that free VC? The steps is very easy. All you gotta do is follow the steps and you're entered in the giveaway, man. So get a friend to do it as well and both of y'all can have a chance to win that free VC. Just that simple. But look, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn it on post notifications. Make sure they say all notifications. Make sure you turn that like button blue and comment down below if this glitch worked for you. Look, I know the like button don't turn blue no more. It turned white. You know what I'm saying? But y'all get the memo. Don't act crazy. No further talking. Let's get into this banger, man. Then you get right into the video. Okay, so look, to start off this demigod bad glitch, the very first thing that you guys want to do is make sure the player that you're currently doing the glitch on has a My Player Nation game available. And then you guys also want to make sure you take a screenshot or remember each game that's going to be available as well because this is very important. With this glitch, I'm going to show y'all boys how you can put the difficulty on rookie during these games. You're going to get double badge progression, and it's going to help you guys get your badges extremely fast. Okay, so look, to start the glitch off, the very first thing that you guys want to do is load up the player that you want to do the glitch on. As you guys can see, I'm going to be doing this glitch on a 74 overall mid-range slasher. So step number one, load up the player that you're currently doing the glitch on, and make sure you load that player into the neighborhood. Now once you guys load that player into the neighborhood from here you can go over to my player nation and this will show you just a schedule for the day so after you guys load that player into the neighborhood all you guys want to do is go back to the nba 2k21 main menu now once you guys get back to the nba 2k21 main menu you guys want to make sure you go over to features and then you guys want to select on settings now from here make sure the game difficulty is on rookie but for this glitch make sure your game speed is on 50. If you try to do a bad, this badge glitch with your game speed on 100, it's gonna be really hard to hit your shots and just play that game in general. So make sure your game speed is on 50 for this glitch and make sure the game difficulty is on rookie. Now, after you guys do that, you guys can go over to play now and then you guys can go to NBA today. Now from here, you guys can select on any game that's available and go ahead and load this game up. And for your controller, it doesn't matter which side the controller is on. Now, once the game starts, what you guys wanna do is go down to options, go to settings, and just make sure the game difficulty on, is on rookie. What this glitch is gonna do is allow us to put the rookie mode on rookie whenever we play the Mob Player Nation games, and that's gonna make it extremely easy to hit shots. And you guys can do this on a low overall player like me as well then i'm also going to show you guys how you can play an unlimited amount of mob player nation games as well so this is like a two-in-one demigod badge glitch banger so yeah man if you guys do this step all you guys want to do is join a friend that you have in the neighborhood now once you guys get into the neighborhood go over to your mob player nation tab and then you guys want to go ahead and play the game that you have available so you guys want to go ahead and load this game up now in this game you guys want to ball out you should notice that the difficulty is on rookie so if you're going for shooting it's going to make it extremely easy to hit your shots 
But all you guys want to do is just ball out in this game and get as much bad progression as you possibly can. Alright, so after this game is over with, you guys will see you'll get your double mob points, double batch progression, and then double VC. You guys will see that I, I primarily went for playmaking because that's what I need the most. Now, if you're going for shooting, I would just recommend that you max your shooting all the way out. And then you guys also um, want to put on a fast jump shot. But you guys will notice the game will be on rookie difficulty and it should make it easier to get your badges that way. Now, after this game is over with, what you guys want to do to keep playing these mob player nation games you guys want to go ahead and go back to the mod career main menu. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can play as many mod player nation games as you would like. So it's important, like I said, you take a picture of this or you look at it before you do this next step. Now whenever you do this glitch, make sure that whenever you switch teams, make sure that you don't pick the same team that you played on or against. You can only play each mod player nation game once. For example, if I go to the books, it's not going to let me play the this Mob Player Nation game again. So I'm either going to have to go for this first time, I'm either going to have to go to Detroit or the Hornets. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and um, you guys want to sim all the way to the end of the season. As you guys can see, I've already done that. Sim to the end of the season and you guys want to make sure that you do not make the playoffs. If you do make the playoffs, it will work. You'll just have to foul out until your team loses. So yeah, man, once you guys get here, what you guys want to do is go ahead and sim to uh, sim to end a regular season. And then you guys want to go ahead and end the current season. All right, so look, after you guys end the current season, make sure you guys go ahead and enter free agency. But before you guys do that, the very first thing that you guys want to do before you guys start off this glitch is once you guys get to this screen right here, make sure you guys close out the application and then reload the game back up. This should prevent us from being stuck on a team if that makes sense. So yeah man, once you guys get here, make sure you guys close out the application and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, go ahead and reload the player that you're currently doing the glitch on. Make sure once you guys close out the app and reload, make sure you guys go ahead and hit enter free agency. All right, so once you guys get here, make sure you choose a team that has a mob player nation game available. And remember, make sure you choose a different game and team each time and make sure you guys don't choose a team that you've already played against. So for this glitch, I'm going to go ahead and try to find the Detroit Pistons. Once you guys find the team that you want to select, um, none of this is going to matter because we're not going to be on this team except for one game anyway. So you guys can go ahead and accept their first offer. Now, once you guys get here, what you guys want to do is go over to the Mob Player Nation tab and you guys will see that you have another Mob Player Nation game available so yeah man you guys want to go ahead and play this game and keep in mind the difficulty is still going to be on rookie that's why we done the glitch at the beginning of the video so the the difficulty on each of these games is going to be on rookie which is going to make it a lot easier for you guys to hit shots go for finishing badges playmaking badges whatever the case may be so yeah man you guys want to go ahead play this game and then get your badge progression
All right, so look, after this game is over with, you'll get your double badge points, mob points, and then double VC. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how you're able to play yet another mob player nation game. So, as soon as you guys see that your VC has loaded up, what you guys wanna do is hit the middle button on your console, press start on NBA 2K21, manage game and add-ons, and then you guys wanna select on NBA, or you guys wanna go to save data, and then you guys want to click on your user profile and then you guys want to make sure you hit delete from console do not delete from everywhere or you'll lose all your players make sure y'all boys hit delete from console once you guys do that go ahead and reload the game back up once the game loads back up go ahead and reload the player that you're currently doing the glitch on now as you guys can see it put me back on this screen right here now this is going to allow us to pick a different team to play yet another My Player Nation game. You guys are able to do this over and over again. So what you guys would want to do is enter free agency. And then you guys would want to choose a different team that has a My Player Nation game available from the schedule from that particular day. So this time we're going to go ahead and go to the Nets. And then the contract doesn't matter. You guys can just accept the very first contract that you see. And you guys will see that you'll be able to play it at another mob player nation game so yeah man after you guys play this game you would want to repeat the same process after the game is over with after you get your vc close out the application and then delete your save data from console and make sure you guys do not hit the make sure you guys do not delete from everywhere you lose all your players make sure you guys hit delete from console and repeat super easy and super simple let me know if y'all boys have any questions drop a like drop a sub i'm out peace